Hi there, everyone. Today we're taking a look at Folder Tracks versus Submix Buses in the Reaper and why I prefer using uh, Folder Tracks. For this video, I've got a couple of uh, kick drum tracks that I'm going to group together. A quick little example. We have an inside uh, kick mic and uh, one on uh, the outside. With the other uh, DAWs I've used in the past, the option has usually been uh, the submix uh, buses. And you can also do that in uh, Reaper, but there's a little uh, trap there uh, that you can easily fall into. So I've got a setup uh, track here. That's going to be the submix bus. Just uh, drag and drop these uh, into that one. And same thing with the kick out. As you can see, both tracks are going where they should be. But there's one problem. Just watch now as I try to lower the fader on that uh, submix bus. And this is because uh, of uh, how a Reaper is set up with the track types. To get this uh, Submix Plus to behave like you want it to, you have to go into the routing uh, menu here and untick the master uh, send. This way, the kick tracks now go only to the mix bus instead of both there and the master. With the ticked, this uh, bus is essentially an effects return bus, just that there is uh, no effects on it. If you forget to untick the master send uh, option there, you can easily screw up a mix uh, very quickly. So what I prefer then is to use uh, folder tracks instead. So I just deleted the sends now, and we're going to move this over the first uh, kick track, and in the lower left on the track control panel, you have the folder option. You see plus sign there, click that, and everything below it is in that folder. You then locate the last track that you want in the folder, and you click twice. In Reaper, this is by far the best, quickest, and easiest way to uh, group uh, tracks together as you can't screw up the routing uh, for that. And also another uh, cool thing about Reaper is the folder tracks there, you can actually use effects on them. And typically a mix template uh, that I use, most of the template are uh, nested folders within uh, each other. Just to uh, demonstrate that, just insert a new track there. Call that drum group. Then you have the top level for the drums there. Kicks. And also usually have a separate folder for snares, overheads, toms, room tracks. And that way you can control the whole drum kit with uh, one fader. The only thing you have to keep in mind when uh, using folders is it's a bit backwards to using uh, mix bus uh, tracks. As you'll have to uh, place the folder tracks before the tracks you want included instead of after it. So you have to think a little bit backwards when you're setting things up. But once you get used to that, it's a whole lot easier to do it this way. And with the nested folders, you get several points where you can uh, do uh, volume automation and uh, things like that. Usually I find it very useful to group together uh, things that make sense. Such as uh, double mic to drum tracks, rhythm guitars, keyboards, backing vocals. 
And this really helps to uh, speed up and uh, simplify the mixing process. Hope you found this useful. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to this channel if you like the sort of videos I do here. And I'll be back uh, very soon.